Hey everybody, it is, it's 11 weeks and one day, uh, 78 days post reconstruction. And it was just a simple implant tissue ex expander exchange and a right breast lift. And it should have been very, very simple. Um, I don't know what happened, but uh, it was not simple for me. Um, I think I gave you an update after two weeks and I had let you know that I'd had some drainage and I had some infection. I think, yeah, I told you about the infection. Well, um, that pain in my arm was just really bad and, uh, everyone kept telling me I needed to go back to rehab. And so at the third week, I, the drainage on the, the, front of my boob. It was still there. Uh, it had continued draining, um, but I put a bandage over it and I went ahead and went back to rehab and I left the bandage on and I told her, I said, you know, just work my arm, but don't get near my incision. And um, my physical therapist was wonderful. I, I loved her so much and she was helping me with my arm. It was so painful. Um, and that physical therapy, uh, that I think I was only going once a week at that time, that worked out well. And I was doing my exercises. I was doing the very best I could. Um, but then at four weeks out at my next um, physical therapy appointment, um, she was just massaging my back. Um, she didn't really get near my incision, I guess a little bit, but uh, my, my incision under my arm opened up. So I had had that one spot on the top and now I had two spots here that opened just with that little bit of pressure. Now it was so embarrassing. Um, the physical therapist, they don't wear gloves when they're working on you and she had to leave the room and because um, she, she had got some drainage on her hands, I guess. And she was very, very good, very uh, kind about everything, but I felt horrible. I don't have any uh, bloodborne illnesses that she could catch or anything, but I just felt terrible that she, that had happened. But she was really good. She helped me clean up and she put bandages on it. And then she called my plastic surgeon and uh, she wanted me to go right away. I actually went the next day. Um, or I must have, must have been a Thursday because I did go the very next day. And what he ended up having to do is he put external stitches on the front drainage part and on the side, he didn't put any stitches, but um, he was very concerned uh, with the infection. And I, all told, I went on three rounds of antibiotics. Um, the third round was just a really, really strong one. And he wanted to open that uh, infection, the little two spots. He wanted to open the incision and drain it um, and pack it and then I don't know, but it had already been a month um, of, well, three weeks of drainage and a month since the construction. And I was like, let's give this last antibiotic just a little more time. Let's give it, you know, four or five days just to see if it's going to work. And I shouldn't have. Um, I guess I, I guess that's an okay thought process, but that antibiotic didn't help and so finally I went in and uh, I think he was a little frustrated my plastic surgeon I think he was frustrated that I didn't let him do it earlier but he opened the incision where the uh, infection was under my arm and uh, it was an inpatient procedure it wasn't wasn't like in a normal um, exam room I thought it was going to be at first but the plastic surgery center has kind of like a little operating room and I just wore headphones and um, meditated to my Chris Carr uh, crazy sexy cancer uh, meditations and it didn't hurt I don't have a lot of feeling in there anyway um, 
but he numbed it and the shot to numb it wasn't too bad and he just uh, opened it up and packed it uh, took long strips of gauze and put down in the hole and um, the time that he did that that's he actually took the external stitches out at the top um, it had healed enough but um, so I had to each night pull the gauze out just a little bit uh, and I would cut it off and I think that was about three days and then I went back and all the gauze came out and he was very pleased with um, the healing at that point um, and I was afraid that if he did that it was going to make it even longer for it to heal but finally uh, I think it after a total of 43 days that I was dealing with that, probably only a week and a half after he drained the infection, but uh, 43 total days was uh, the total drainage. So, so I couldn't go back to um, physical therapy. She was like, cancel your next two appointments. I don't want to see you until that incision is better. But I still did my exercises as best as I could. So um, the pain just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I would wake up in the middle of the night just, I remember one time I woke up and just crying. It was hurting so bad. And at first I thought, well, I'm waking up because of the pain. But now that I've, it was bad, but now that I'm not hurting as bad, I'm still waking up. So I'm thinking that maybe the waking up and the insomnia at night might be a side effect of my letrozole, the um, estrogen progesterone blocker, that pill that I I'm, I'm have to be on. But anyway, finally, after it stopped draining and after it healed. I was able to go back to physical therapy and um, I went back. It's been about, I guess, two weeks um, since I've been back. And my first lady that I love so much that was so sweet, she actually is getting a new job. So I've had to switch. And I was nervous again because I loved my first lady so much. But now I have a guy, uh, he, I was nervous for no reason. I've got to stop being that way because he is amazing. I, I love him so much. Um, but anyway, I, I asked him, I said, so, um, when do you think I'll have 100% mobility? And he said, well, I don't want to, uh, I don't want you to quote me, but you're going to be much better, functionally better in four to six months. And that was like, man, four to six months. But he said it could be up to a year um, before I get 100% back to normal. But I'm finding the more I work it, the more, the more, the more I work it, and I'm actually doing my exercises every two hours now. I do 25 to 30 minutes in the morning and in the evening, and throughout the day, I will do um, three minutes. Like if I go to the bathroom, I'll do three minutes of exercises, and then at lunch, I try to do 15 to 20 minutes. So... Um, I've worked and worked, and I'm going to show you some of the exercises so you can see how I'm coming, but the difference that I have now is I'm not in constant pain. Like, used to my elbow and my arm right in here, it would just throb and just ache at all times, but now, um, I, like last night I stayed up late, I was wrapping presents, and it didn't hurt at all. Um, of course, it would hurt if I tried to lift it, uh, you know, do my stretches. But um, the only times now that it's really bad is first thing in the morning. And I think, 
I think it's just tighter first thing in the morning. And so after I get up, get a shower, and start working, then it does do better. But anyway, I'm going to show you some exercises. And I, on Thursday, I had to drive for work, and I stopped and did my arm exercises, and I did the very best ever, and it, it just brought me to tears. And I'm going to show you that video. It's crazy that I'm crying, but I was so happy and so thankful to God. So I'm going to sign off for now. I will show you those exercises, but um, any words of wisdom that I can give anyone uh, in any reconstruction surgery or if they have a mastectomy or anything, um, get that range of motion back as fast as you can because I was very close. They told me I was very close to frozen shoulder and that's very bad. Um, I, if somebody had warned me that uh, that could have happened, maybe I would have done things differently, but I went through so many stages. I didn't know that it was muscular skeletal related. I kept thinking it was lymphedema, and I was like dry brushing and doing lymphedema massage. I He gave me uh, gabapentin one time because I thought it was nerve damage. I thought that was what was making my arm hurt. But it wasn't nerve damage. It wasn't, um, there was no swelling. Um, it wasn't the lymphedema. It was, it was all because I wasn't using my, uh, my arm. And see, I, I didn't get full range of motion back even in those first eight weeks before I got the, um, tissue expander out. I remember I couldn't lift my arm all the way over my head. I had tried. It never hurt in those first eight weeks. It didn't throb and ache like it did. But I, because uh, I can remember asking Lydia to shave my armpit because I couldn't get my arm up. Um, like maybe around week seven, because uh, I know you're not supposed to shave right before surgery, but I wanted to shave a little bit. It was horrible. But, um, so that is the update. Just get your range of motion back as fast as you can. Uh, if I can save anyone this um, feeling of, it's almost like a rotator cuff injury, because um, all these muscles here in my, my side, my ribs, everything is affected. And I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna get better. Um, that's. That's the update for now. I've got a week before Christmas, week and a couple of days, and get to see the grandchildren, uh, Mason, Daphne, and Daisy, and I'm hoping to be much better by then. Um, signing off for now. Hey, everybody. I wanted to just take a moment. I am crying tears of happiness and thanksgiving. I stopped at this church, um, I'm, I was doing my arm exercises right over there behind me at that little, um, shelter. I'm, today's a, a driving day for me. I have to drive for work and I just, I stopped just for, for 15 minutes to do my exercises and I am really a lot better. Oh my goodness, guys, I, I've been praying and praying and I'm a lot better. But anyway, uh, these snow angels are what you're supposed to be able to do. And it's not pretty yet, but I don't even know if you can see, but I can almost do... Get almost to a snow angel and all of my exercises all that I do in my 15 minute breakdown all of them were so much better so my my guy had told me that it would be a year before I would get full mobility and it's only been a couple of days and it may still be a year but man I've made so much progress Guys, I've been in a lot of pain, a whole lot of pain, um, but it's getting better. And still have 
a week and a half before Christmas before I see the grandchildren. And just picking up Harley is helping me a lot. But I know when I pick up Daisy and Daphne and give Mason a hug, my arm's going to be better. But I'll sign out. Bye, everybody. So here's a couple of my exercises. This one is called drawing a sword. And I'm really cold right now, so I'm not going to do as well as I sometimes do. But you just come across this way and then try to go up. And I do like 10 of those. And then, of course, I do this one straight up. And then the sideways one. Like this, like snow angels. And you can, like, change your thumb different ways to do different stretches. And I'm supposed to always trying to keep this shoulder down all the time. I have a tendency to make it come up. And then I'll also come forward to get it up. See, I, if I'm forward, I can go higher. But just on the side, I can't go as high. Another one is called Pendulum Swings. And I just put this chair here and you just like shake your arm. You don't really like move your arm. You just like try to let gravity move it. You do circles. And the other way. And I'm also putting a can in my hand, like a one pound can, and that loosens things up. And I'm just like really showing you briefly what I'm doing. You know, I, I spend several minutes on everything. And I'll show you my cables. Um, I keep them here in the closet. Keep it sideways, honey. So these are my cables. And just for reference, I'm going to show you how high I can come with my right arm. Of course, I can go all the way up, you know. And I'm very cold right now, so it's not going to be good. But uh, I can get a little higher sometimes, but I'll just show you. Actually, that's not too bad right now. <sighs> that's it. That's all I can do. And you just hold it for 10 seconds and then take a break. So, like. Most of my tightness is in here, and so you just do your cables. <laughs> Those are the exercises. Thanks, everybody.